Mark, thank you. The Virginia Department of Health is conducting a study about long COVID. Here to tell us a little bit more about the project is Kelly Anderson, who is a COVID epidemiologist with the Virginia Department of Health. Thanks so much for joining us today on First of Four. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Well, first off, let's talk a little bit about what this study even is. Yeah, so we started this study back in October of 2023 in Central Virginia. So we piloted it in our health district and we are looking into the effects of long COVID on residents of Southwest Virginia. So let's talk a little bit about why the state's doing it and why Southwest Virginia. Yeah, so we just identified a need for more research on long COVID in Virginia. Uh, we didn't have a way to capture the information, so we decided to try something out and we created our own uh, data collection tool to be able to gather information. And we have uh, pushed it out in Southwest Virginia because we have a very rural population with very limited access to a lot of resources that we see in the more wealthy areas of the state. And let's talk a little bit about how this is going to work. I know you just mentioned that data collection tool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we do a survey over the phone. Um, so anyone who's interested in participating and who meets our qualifications is able to enroll online. And then we have team members who will reach out and do a uh, interview over the phone that lasts about an hour. And then we follow participants for a total of six months. And we do two follow up calls during that time frame to identify uh, the change over time that people are seeing. And let's talk a little bit about what some of those requirements are and who could qualify for this. Yeah, so anyone who who is a resident of Southwest Virginia is able to enroll in the study. So that's all the way from Roanoke in the middle of the state, all the way down to the North Carolina border, and then all the way over out here to the Tennessee border. So as long as you are a resident of one of those areas, you're able to qualify. And you had to have had lingering or relapsing symptoms lasting at least two months after a COVID infection or newly diagnosed medical conditions after a COVID infection. And does that need to have been, you know, documented by a doctor, you know, things of that nature to they need to have something you know to prove to you those things no you don't have to have anything to prove to us we collect any information that people have mm -hmm. and on our end we look into whether or not you have a long COVID diagnosis or you have um, any positive COVID test but we accept anyone who uh, has those lingering symptoms and is there an age requirement or anything of that nature there is no age requirement we can do all the way from zero to a hundred plus we just have to have parental consent for any minors well, it sounds like a really great opportunity to delve into some research. And I know that, you know, long COVID is a hot topic right now, especially as we're, you know, kind of on the other side of this pandemic. Is there anything that you, you know, want to say to folks that might think that, hey, I qualify for this? Well, if you think you qualify, definitely sign up. We have our registration link online at cvhd.org. And the more voices we get, the better, because the more people who share their experiences, the better the information is going to be, and the broader we're able to get that information out to the public. And let's talk a little bit about what this long-term goal of this project is. Yeah, so our long-term goal is to really assess how long COVID affects our rural residents of Virginia, and then identify any opportunities that we see to improve the resource uh, for those that suffer with long COVID. Well, it sounds like a great way to delve into this research and get the community involved as well. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us here on First at Four.